Well, the Prime Minister's carbon tax will cost the average Canadian family way more than the Liberals are letting on. As gas and electricity prices rise, small businesses will have to increase their prices to pay their bills, making it even more difficult to survive. This is not just a tax on carbon, it's a tax on everything. Gasoline, home heating, groceries, transportation, and this tax does nothing to reduce emissions. That's a problem. With Halloween just around the corner, will the minister now agree that her carbon tax swindle is a trick, not a treat? The Honourable Minister of Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, from Mark Carney, the Governor of the Bank of England, you need a price on carbon and you need a price on pollution. Canada, as of today, has both. It unlocks investment decisions which will make for more low-carbon economies. Del Bugan, he's the executive director of Ecofiscal Commission. Bigger households get bigger checks, and most, and most households will see rebates that are larger than their carbon pricing costs. Households will see net gains. The Fondation David Suzuki, la tarification de 